Okay guys, so today we're going to be doing a 3D edit on CapCut and on mobile. If you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe guys. So today we're going to be doing MV Avatar Studio guys. So first we're going to do is go to Photo Studio here and then we're going to go ahead and go to the front screen just like this. So this, the reason why I like this is because it's so clear and you can literally adjust everything to make a better, more quality video for yourself. Like this, if you can see what I'm doing. So first things first, we need to make sure it's a green screen. The best thing about this app is you actually can size it, like I said, and turn it the way you want it, zoom in, change the lighting and all that which can really help with your quality in videos. And that's why I prefer doing this way than using TT3 for when I usually use my edits in there. So this is what we're gonna go. We're gonna go ahead and let's see, where is it? So I guess I'm, I don't have a green screen one, so I guess I'm gonna have to make one. Okay, let's go to wall colors like this. And we're gonna go to green. Now I want a little bit lighter green so it can look as much as possible. And we do not want particles in the background. So we are going to remove those right away because that will really affect the edit. So we do not want that in there. So let's find particles and hit none, just like that. Then what we're gonna do is go ahead and go to animations and go to emotions like this. And we're gonna use one of these emotions and all I gotta do is slow down the speed so she freezes in that state. I kinda like this one, so we're gonna use this one instead. And then we're gonna turn it to the phone way. Cause that's why I like doing this on mobile cause you can just turn it sideways the best thing of making it even more better with the quality. And then the best thing about this also is you can also rotate your image even without having to do it yourself. Um, so I'm just gonna let it automatically do it on itself and then I'm gonna hit the eyes so all the GUIs can easily disappear. I just really like this one so much. It's so easy and convenient. And everything comes out so clear and crisp. And like I said, anything in this video, guys, that y'all do not want to see or y'all just want to fast forward, go ahead and fast forward it to the part that you want to see. Like I said, I will not uh, cut out or crop anything out just in case you miss something. Um, so I will make sure I show you everything I'm doing step by step. Not even going to crop out anything like you guys know. Because clearly, if you guys knew how to do this, you wouldn't be watching this video. So I'm going to keep it like that. Okay, next thing do all we're going to do is we're going to make sure we find a good dance to dance so the dance like the video we're gonna do behind the actual 3d so i want to do it to where the girl is frozen and there's a dance and it's coming out of the video i really don't know which dance i'm gonna be doing yet so maybe we're gonna do the set free because right now all these other ones are just not working for me yeah i don't know it's not it's not working for me with the song that i want to do so we're gonna do this one. I always like this one the most. <laughs> it's pretty common too, so. So let's go ahead and change the background and go back to the dance, because I know we didn't do that before. So let's go back to set me free. And we also added particles and changed the background so it can actually look like an edit and we do not want that in the green screen. We just don't want that. So now let's go ahead and put it into CapCut. And if you can see, we have both of the videos, the main one and the green screen. For the green screen, we're gonna make it an overlay just like this, guys, and remove this CapCut thing in the back. Or right, it's gonna look really weird. And remember, guys, this is for a template, so I'm making this as template-free um, as possible. It's very hard to make templates, guys. Okay, and then we're gonna remove the green screen from the overlay, if you can see what I'm doing here. Yeah, this is gonna be template friendly, guys. We're trying to make this a template, which makes it a little bit harder because with templates, you can't do some other tricks that people would normally do for exporting. And then we're gonna cut this in half. This way we can have one going up and one going out. We're gonna put a zoom on it so I think I'm gonna do zoom 2 instead of zoom 1 
I want to move this line up just a little bit. Right here. I think this is good. Okay. We don't want it too much. We don't want to make it look weird. And then I'm going to make sure this we do this speed right here. About 1.9. And then I'm gonna put some keyframes to make it a little bit more smoother. But first, let's crop it. Make sure we cut out any extra pieces like that. Oops, I accidentally deleted it. Oops. Okay, so we're gonna like size this like this a little bit. I'm trying to cover this little line here. You can't really see it. And move this over. And we're gonna make this four. The speed is gonna be four for this one. Just like that. Oops. Okay. And we're also going to make sure we size this one down as well. We do. We want them to look as close as possible to the same. So we want to make sure whatever we do to the other one, we do to this one. And we are going to do the same thing for this one. But instead of zoom... I think we're going to do... Should I do fade? We're going to do zoom out. Yeah, not fade. Zoom out. Now we got to do some keyframes, guys. So we can make it look a lot more smoother. So we're going to zoom it in a little bit. So this way, when it zooms out, we can have it more blend in with the second clip that we have. So let's start adding our keyframes, guys. Let me size this up to speed. Okay, let's make this, yeah, we're going to make this two. I don't know. Yeah, we're gonna make this two guys, so it's not 1.9, it could be two. So let's start adding our keyframes, and we slightly just slide the video a little bit closer, and then at the last piece, we slowly bring it back. This way, it goes forward to the front of the screen and then back, but we have to make sure it blends with this one as well. So we're probably gonna have to add a keyframe to the second one, or we might just can blend it in with the first clip. See, this one starts off in the front, so we're just gonna keyframe it exactly this way. So this way, when it turns, it more like blends in. Let's move this back a little bit. There we go, that's blending, there we go. That's way better, <laughs> way better. So this is how it looks, guys, with the keyframes added in the fades and the zooms in, all that good stuff. Well, not fades, but zoom ins. <laughs> I always use fades, so it's a little bit harder. Okay. Like I said, once again, guys, you can speed this up if you already know how to do this stuff. I'm just showing this for people who actually do not know how to do this. Um, that way you still know at least what I'm doing step by step. I will not um, remove anything. So if you miss anything, I'm keeping everything I'm doing step by step without cutting any, anything out. I feel like we need to add a filter, so I put this little pink um, filter on it, this mirror pink, but it's pro, so I'm going to also give a filter for you guys, for the people who are not pro. I just thought the pink was kind of cute. <laughs> you know, you can use whatever filter you want, guys, but I'm really going to use the mirror pink. It just kind of looked kind of like shiny a little bit, I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go to this app right here for the background because we kind of want the background to look kind of 3D and all this. And this is the app I use for pretty backgrounds and with very good quality. So I'm going to go ahead and just go down and look for a really good background. But this, there is a lot of pros and stuff you can use. Like this one is really pretty. It's a cute cat background, but sadly the cat is not removable. You can only remove the text and stuff, but the cat remains. And honestly, I do not want the cat in the back of my video. This one's cool, but it's also pro. So we're going to have to find something a little bit basic, simple, not too much. And this one's pro. Dang it. Okay, anyways, let's just go ahead and hit this one. So we're just going to remove all the text in this one like this. Just remove anything you see that's a text that you want don't want in it now if you're doing like flyers or something you want that fine but like i just really want the background and then you're just gonna save the video it doesn't even take long which i love that so much 
Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and jump right back into CapCut, guys. Now that it's loaded in. And if you can see, everything's already put in here. Now, my mistake, I should have had put this in front of it um, before, but I have forgot. So we're gonna have to move stuff over. So I do apologize for this, but we're gonna have to put the that photo we just had in front of it. Therefore, what we want to do is have the 3D thing in front of the 3D background kind of overlay and then we want the dance on the side i will show you guys how to set it up if you haven't already um did that already so let's just crop out these little things these extra stuff that we do not want in our video before we uh start adding extra stuff like again i'm sorry guys i forgot to do this before <laughs> all right let's go ahead and make sure everything is okay so i'm gonna add this so you this is how it will look like guys kind of like the idea so we're gonna trim this down. Let's cut out this little extra little text thingy. Like that. Slide this up. Okay. And so you can see what I mean by the whole, we want the, the overlay, we really want this. Like we want this behind it. This should have been first, but it's okay. It's not gonna change anything. So first thing, the first thing we wanna go is gonna time master because we really want to have something to kind of explode behind the avatar so just go to like the regular youtube size and then we're going to go to this store i'm going to go and get that explosion there's like so many different effects on here i love time master it's very cool very clean good quality i just love it so much so i'm going to go here and i want to go ahead and scroll down to the bottom and hit vfx just like this guys and scroll all the way down to the bottom again and there it is explosion and we just have to download it if you don't download it guys it will look like that so we don't want that big giant Kai master behind it and then i'm gonna add a green screen you guys do not have to do this i'm doing this for uh to show y'all something later on in the video um but like i said just <laughs> i'm gonna add a green screen and i'll show you guys why i'm doing this I, then the next thing, I'm going to go to video assets right here and grab the explosion little effect. And you just want to zoom in all the way out just like this, guys. Like this. Isn't that pretty? And then I'm going to trim off the extra access green screen. Like I said, you do not need to put this in here. It's for a reason why I'm doing this. Just to show y'all some stuff later on. And it's so pretty. Look at that. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. I love it. Okay, then you're going to go ahead and export it. This is my settings and hit save. When this pops up, just hit the skip button right here and just save the video. It also is super fast and I love that. And then go ahead, jump back into CapCut and we're gonna go to a separate CapCut template. So make a new project, guys. We're gonna set up the background overlay and we're gonna add the little explosion. So crop everything, make sure it's the size you want, whether it's for YouTube or TikTok. It doesn't really matter. And then we're gonna crop out all the extra stuff like this we're gonna put it inside like in the middle so we're gonna start sizing it you can see what i'm doing i'm gonna hit the filter so it can blend in and then we're gonna push this to the side so it's more in the center so when it explodes it looks like it's in the middle just like this guys perfect now you guys do not have to do this i'm just doing this for myself but i'm gonna duplicate this and move it a little bit over um this is for later on in the video when i add the videos on top of it just so i can have a second explosion in case i don't want to duplicate it i can already have it in my video but like i said you do not have to do this and remove that back stuff as well and then let's export this guys save and export and go back to the main ex the main template guys this will be in the place that we just uh put i'm about to show y'all so in the place that we had recently had added the background, we're going to replace that with the one we just created in the new project. See? So look, this is how it will look like, guys. Just like that. And then the second explosion, we're not going to do anything with it. But that's just in case. Okay, so now we have our videos. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually move the dance one in front. And we're going to put this one behind it. Because we want the dancing and then the 3D and then dance and then 3D. So we're gonna make sure you put it exactly as you did before. Just move it over and play it so you can make sure everything's blended and perfectly in place. Just like that. 
Oh, this is my favorite part. We're finally about to get into editing. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna slow down this video and hit better quality. Let's speed that up. Cause we want it to kind of slow down like that. There we go. Like I said, I can't play the music guys cause it is copyrighted. So, um, but I will put it in the chat. So let's just start adding some effects. We need to add some effects. So fade in. There we go. We kind of want it to fade in and fade out, fade in, fade out, fade in. Just like that. Oh, wait, that's a fade in. That's supposed to be a fade out. Let me go back and change that to fade out. I accidentally put the wrong one. Where's fade out? Where is it? Where'd it go? I just saw it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so we're going to put a fade in, fade out. So it should kind of look like that. And we're just going to be duplicating these effects all the way down until we hit that spot. And remember, guys, this is that time that we need to add those music. So if you have a song, I recommend... Um, the reason why I had to change it a few times is because I did not have a music added, which can affect your editing. So, like I said, I had to once I once I changed and added my music. Now we're doing this, so fade in, fade out, and you can see how smooth it looks. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put this to the side and just slide it on over. Like I said, guys, if you don't want to see this, you can fast forward it. And I just want to show this to people who really don't know what they're doing. I don't want them to miss one little step. That way no one gets confused. Oh, that looks smooth. Oh, look at that. Okay. Now, with this song, it has like these little beats at the end. And I kind of wanted to flash the character like three times. Or maybe two times. We'll have to see. So, I'm going to get a black stock like picture. And then I'm going to turn it. And then zoom it in so it can block my character. Just like this. That way when the it shows the character, it's going to go more like boom, boom, like a flash. This is my way of how I do flashes. By making an overlay and then I add a black one, black piece in front of it. And then I kind of like let it blend out and then go back in. I don't, I think three of them might be too much, but we're going to test it out anyways. If it's too much, we might just do two because I don't want it to... I want it to really blend right into the next video, which is the 3D part that we are doing this for. So this is kind of how it looks, how it's sizing it just a little. So that's how it kind of looks. It's going to look a flicker. I really do feel like this extra one is a little bit too much, but let's just try it. Mm. It's, a, it's off. It's off by a little... Like, a, like, why is it off? Oh my god. <laughs> this is so off. I'm gonna try to, like, just move it. If, if it, if it is, if this doesn't work, if I slow down the speed and it still doesn't work, I'm not. See, you see how that is? That's not gonna be there, guys. Sorry. Okay, so yeah, this is definitely about to be removed. Hold on. Let me try it one more time. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna have to remove this. It's too much. So basically, guys, I'm just cropping this part here, um, and then I'm going to scale it a little bit over like this. Um, that was just because I had added the thing and I never cropped it. I'm cropping it to the sound of my song, so it looks kind of like this. Isn't that pretty? Oh, my God. All right. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, anyway, so we're going to have a black fade so it can really blend in and go into it. This, I think this is over. Yeah, this is a little bit touchy. See? That's way better. It was a little bit tapping that little fade. And like I said, guys, retouch your stuff so you can make sure it really blends in perfectly. And like I said, we're going to duplicate this. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. And I'm going to duplicate the red part dance as well. I'm going to duplicate both parts. So it's going to have a fade out, fade in, 3D, fade, fade. <laughs> Some, I think one of them might be too much, so I might have to cut that out as well. So it should be the dancing one. 
go ahead and fade that out. We want to really make sure this blends in. Let's go ahead and duplicate this and slide this over to the right. Line it up perfectly and then duplicate this one as well. And slide this over. Line it up perfectly. And we need to do the fade so we know it blends in. And then 3D out. There you go. Okay. I saw a little glitch there. I'm about to show you guys what, why it's doing that. I'm so glad it did it. <laughs> okay. So now we got both of these kind of like placed. We want to make sure the red video is now in velocity. Now, I normally would do a graph or something, but I'm running out of time. So I do not want to uh, take time trying to do a graph right now. So we're probably just going to do an effect. Now we're going to go to velocity and hit flash. I sometimes don't like doing this for a template wise because sometimes as a template, this just doesn't work. But sadly, it always puts it, the video on beat with the actual song, which is why I love it so much. But sometimes when you make it a template, it just does not work. Look how good it is. This is now going to the beat of the song, by the way, which looks way, way better than just did a few minutes ago. And just have it blend in and then goes out. Ooh, pretty. It looks, it's looking gooder and gooder. <laughs> well, better and better. So right here, if you notice, there's like this little glitch happening. This little green screen keeps popping up when I um, play it all the way through. Kind of like there. You, did y'all see it? <laughs> okay. We're going to be fixing that in a few minutes because we can't have that happening. That's right there. We, we're going to try to cut that out. So let's kind of like slightly move it, move it, move it. There we go, we caught it. Now we're going to be splitting this like that and we're going to slow this down a little bit. It was slowing it down so it doesn't pick up the video, the extra green screen. But now that means we gotta change some of the other stuff as well. Now you can see with the little changes and a little fade in, now we do not see the green part. The only thing that's now happening is the little image is now kind of going over the red part and we don't want that. So what we're going to do is we're going to slow this down just a tad bit more so we can have the 3D fully going on only its part and it's not touching the red part. We don't want it over there. And we want to like kind of extend this just a tiny bit. Remember guys, whatever you did, if you made duplicates, just make sure you either fix the other sides as well, or you just duplicate that part as well. Like how I'm doing. I'm basically adding the part that I already adjusted and I move it in slightly over. That way I can make sure everything's all the same. That's, that's good, that's good, that's good. I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this 3D part for the third time. Like I said, I may remove this later on because it may be too much, but you never know. I just have to see how this might look like. Like I said, guys, if this is, um, you don't wanna see this part, you guys can. Fast forward, it is okay. Since most of the part is already done, this is really just cleaning up some pieces. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start kind of like doing some edits, like photo switch. Um, we want to kind of like make the first part has some edits in it, and we want to really start cleaning things up. Okay, so let's see if we can find it. Mm, post is a little bit too much. Trimble's okay. Pull in. Mm. the photo switch so we're gonna do photo switch for each of the transition for the first part of the fade and then if you can see how it kind of flickers in and then goes out and then goes back right into the velocity we're 
we're gonna like extend this just a little bit like i said guys i am going with the beat of my song this might not you might not need to do this because your song does not match this one but if you're doing the song then you're kind of okay. it just slightly it's a little bit off with the song i'm using And now let's move this over because we do not want this um, showing up on the red at all. It's okay to uh, replay your stuff, guys, to make sure it's all good. And yeah, that's... No, <laughs> we don't want that. We're going to select this and adjust this. So it should be one. Doom, 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 doom. A fade and doom, 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 doom. That does not have a fade. Why does this? this <laughs> Let's just move this up a little. Okay, well, yeah, we just. Mm, I think it's too much. So let's. We're gonna just delete that out of black uh, stock and just sharpen all of our videos to make sure it's all clean and crisp and as at the best quality it can be. Like I said being in the, um that app like the game already already gives your video a lot better quality than like any other game right now so that's what i love the most and then i'm gonna just go ahead and put a filter on it um we're gonna go to scenery where is it i'm gonna go to clear too right here this really makes your video pop and remember, since, since since this is a template, guys, it will be affecting whatever your other, whoever uses it, it will be affecting their videos and photos as well. So let's go ahead and make um, all of them sharpened and put all the filters on all of them so we don't forget anyone or anything. I can't find the clear one. <laughs> what the heck? I gotta put this on all of them. All the red ones. And then make sure they're all sharpened. Let's see. There we go. I think I forgot. Yeah, I did forget to sharpen this one. Did I forget this one? Yeah, I did. And then sharpen. I can't forget this one. So now all of them are all up there. I'm going to start adding some effects, guys. This is the adjustments I'm making for the kind of thing behind me. You can screenshot this if you want, guys, how it looks like. I will also put the size and adjustments in the comments below in the descriptions for you guys. So it can look like that. I like that. And then it kind of like blends right in, fades out, and then blends again, very slow and smooth. I like that a lot. And then it also fades. Flickers and fades. Now we're going to make sure we don't forget the other two red parts. We did not add the little clone thing to that one as well. So we're going to make sure we put this on all the reds. Okay, so let's go ahead and move this over and crop it. Why is it not letting me? Oh, there we go. <laughs> it wasn't letting me move it over. I think it was too long. Let's move this over, size it properly. Okay, so if you have already fast forwarded it, go, we're gonna go ahead and add it at glow. Cause we want it to kind of have like a little shine to it. We're gonna, yeah, we, we want the glow to look natural, not too much. And we're just gonna put this on all the videos. It's only gonna uh, affect the overlay, so it's not 
gonna affect the one underneath it though. And now I'm gonna go ahead and just add the text. I use a generator for this to add like lyrics to my videos, but remember guys, this stuff is not accurate. So I always recommend to go ahead and look up the actual lyrics to these songs because even though it does pick up sometimes the lyrics and it puts it in the sync, I always recommend just going to the lyrics and copy and pasting it into your chat thing and that way it can still have the same effect but it's all correct because people will tell you if it's wrong. I also removed the diamond halo because I just felt like it was too much happening right there. So I removed that as well. And also guys, I'm turning my video to deep. If this is a template, you know it's going to get copyrighted. So when you make a template, you have to change the way your song sounds. You can post the original on YouTube or TikTok, but on CapCut, you must alter the sound so it sounds a little bit more different. So I always just use a deep one. And yeah, that's pretty much it right now, guys. This is the full results of my video. I really hope you guys like this and really hope this helped you guys learn how to make 3Ds and maybe you can find out your own techniques on how to make it better. And I will post a real video on my YouTube and TikTok so you guys can go watch it and see how it is and all that and what song I use. But this is the one I use and I think it came out really good. It came out really good for CapCut. So guys, this is my top hated comment for the week. And this is my top positive comment, guys. Thank you for the support and love. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.